Hello and welcome back to Online Fashion Workshop and Draping Society. In this video, we are going to study muslin types and their use for draping. When we use draping technique to make our first pattern, we need to choose a muslin that is closest in weight and the way it drapes. There are three elements that you need to pay attention before you start draping and choosing your muslin. Your silhouette, your fabric, and the stretch of the fabric. If your actual fabric is stretchy, your muslin has to have the same stretch as well. I usually pick cheaper version of my actual fabric that has the exact weight and stretch. Sometimes I use the same fabric if I have to, mostly for stretchy tools, jerseys and knits. For any type of woven non-stretch fabrics, I pick any muslin that emulates my actual expansive fabric best. In this video, I am showing woven non-stretchy muslins. Wool is a soft, lightweight woven sheer fabric is mostly used in draping. It is less crisp than standard muslin but more sheer or see-through. Walls are good options if your actual fabric is lightweight, see-through and if you have many tucks like here and uh, darts and ruffles designed in your mind. It is thin and light and has enough body to hold shapes and works great with multiple layers and multiple tucks. It best emulates china silk, silk georgette, chiffon, soft organza, silk or cotton gauze and charmousse. This is a closer look of cotton wool. It is sheer and kind of see-through. It is not as loosely woven as cotton gauze, so be careful not to confuse these two. It has a crisp touch, but very soft. This is a lightweight standard muslin, and the muslin comes in three different weights, lightweight, midweight, and heavyweight. This one is light, so it's softer. Which tucks and darts are easier and softer in folds. It doesn't look too heavy when you need to fold and tucks more than once or twice at the same area. It is best muslin types to do your sloper patterns or block patterns. If you are draping a blouse, shirts or softer touch fabrics for dresses, this is a better option than midweight to give you the similar look. It emulates best the cotton fabrics or lightweight crisper silk fabrics. It is also emulates lightweight crepe fabrics as well. Let's have a closer look to the standard uh, muslin. This is a lightweight standard muslin. It's kind of see-through as you see, but not uh, that much. So we have a standard muslin here in mid-weight. Uh, as you see, it has lots of body and uh, it is fairly creased. As you see, the folds breaks in here but still works well for most garments, especially for more structured base bodies, skirts, and dress patterns and jackets. Especially jackets is very good for this too. It is light enough to manipulate easily, but holds shapes and volume on the body. It is not as soft, as airy as wool. This type of muslins best emulates crisper touch silks such as taffeta, uh, Dupiani, brocade, crisper organza, double faced French silks, canvas, midweight cottons. And this is the closer look. It's kind of thicker than the lightweight muslin and it's kind of holds its shapes up. And we have a cotton twill here. Cotton twill is an extremely popular fabric for the construction of clothing. It is a heavier weight fabric or muslin and it is best used if you are draping coats and jackets or any heavier silhouettes. It has a crisp touch, but in draping, the fold and rolls are soft and does not break, as you see in here. Even though it is heavier than muslin, but it doesn't drape soft like hemp muslin, but it emulates best any type of twill fabrics, twill wool, silk twill. If your final fabrics are twills, I suggest to drape your looks in cotton twill as well. In the closer look, you see diagonal weaves. Twill is a fabric characterized by its diagonal weaves. And it has a little flex on the cross grain and not so much on the straight grain. Closely, I'm showing to you and the back looks like this. This one is hemp muslin. These type of muslins are a little more expansive and slightly heavier than other type of muslins. It has a soft touch and drapes better because it's heavier. As you see, the folds are softer and fuller and don't break. This is a great muslin if you need to drape in bias cut and it hugs curves very well. I mostly use this type of muslin to drape my corsets, bustiers, and any multiple cut bias gowns. It emulates crepe fabrics best. 
heavyweight georgette, satin rayons, or silk crepe back satins. Basically, any type of fabrics that has a mid-weight and heavier one draping. Let's take a closer look. As you see, the grain lines is uh, very visible in this type of muslin, hemp muslin. And it's slightly heavier and uh, very soft in touch. We have a mid-weight linen in here. It is soft in touch, it has lots of volume, as you see big rolls when draped with body. Not so great for many tucks if you have it in your design. It is heavyweight fabric so it drapes nicely. It's great for jackets and coats and long draped dresses and skirts. I like to use this fabric to drape big wedding dresses. It looks great for circle skirts and it's perfect for corset making. Unfortunately, it's not cheap option next to standard muslin, but if you are using thick French silks for your gown, this can emulate the volume and the look of the big dress. And let's have a closer look at our mid-weight linen. It is heavy, but it's very soft. 